Hallo Freunde der virtuellen Realität, schön, dass ihr eingeschaltet habt zu einem neuen Video. Heute gibt es Quest 2 Gameplay und falls ihr meinen Kanal noch nicht kennt, ich bin Sebastian, ihr seid hier auf Tupac VR. Ja, und hier gibt es alles rund um das Thema VR und falls euch das gefällt, was ihr hier seht, würde ich mich freuen, wenn ihr meinen Kanal jetzt abonnieren würdet. Video natürlich liken, das hilft mir natürlich auch weiter. Und äh, ja, Leute, ich habe mir für euch Sam and Max angeguckt. This time it's virtual. Und ja, ich kenne Sam and Max noch von den äh, ja, Flat Point and Click Adventure Games. Und da gab es verschiedene. Ich habe, glaube ich, eins habe ich definitiv durchgezockt. Und äh, ich kann mich noch erinnern, Sam und Max hat immer so von dem Witz gelebt, weil äh, ja, die, die beiden sind ein bisschen crazy, aber der kleine Max ist am, am ja, durchgedrehtesten, sage ich mal. Und äh, ja, ist echt sehr, sehr witzig gemacht, das Ganze. Und äh, ich finde es äh, echt gelungen. Ich habe jetzt, ja, einen Anfang nur gespielt. Also ich kann auch nicht so viel sagen. Es ist ein Ersteindrucksvideo. Das heißt, ich habe wirklich mir die Brille aufgeschnappt, äh, aufgesetzt und ähm, habe dann einfach mal losgezockt. Es fängt an, dass man so eine, so eine Art kleines Tutorial auch hat. Also das erste Level nimmt einen so ein bisschen äh, als Tutorial mit, obwohl man direkt mitten im Spiel ist. Und äh, ja, man lernt dann die beiden auch so ein bisschen kennen. Das große Problem, was ich hatte, es wird sehr, sehr, sehr viel gesprochen und äh, es gibt leider nur ja, Englisch, äh, englische Sprachausgabe und auch nur englische Untertitel. Äh, man kann jetzt nicht wählen, deutscher Untertitel und so weiter. Also es war jetzt äh, sehr, sehr schade. Die sprechen sehr, sehr schnell. Ich habe teilweise nicht wirklich alles verstanden. Also äh, sehr, sehr viel ist mir auch verloren gegangen. Wenn man jetzt super Englisch versteht, wird es wahrscheinlich kein Problem sein. Bin ich aber leider nicht der Fall. Also wenn ich einen Text lese, kann ich mir schon die meisten Sachen da erklären und äh, übersetzen. Aber wenn es so schnell geht wie in dem Spiel, dann äh, bin ich auch raus. Äh, da bin ich leider zu eingerostet für, muss man sagen. Und äh, ja, aber nichtsdestotrotz äh, konnte ich das Spiel verstehen. Ich wusste, was von mir äh, ja, erwartet wird in dem Game. Und äh, so habe ich mich ein bisschen durch das Gameplay durchgehangelt. Ich denke mal, dass ich immer noch so ein bisschen äh, im Tutorial hänge. Ähm, ich denke mal, das Spiel erklärt, wird so ein bisschen dadurch auch erklärt, durch die Sachen, die man da so ähm, am Anfang macht. Und ähm, ja, hat aber alles super geklappt, auch mit der Quest. Die Grafik ist äh, im Nahbereich eigentlich vollkommen in Ordnung für so ein Game. Also es, es will ja auch nicht wirklich ähm, fotorealistisch äh, sein, sondern es ist ein einfach Comic-Game, sage ich mal. Ähm, ja, von daher sieht das eigentlich alles ganz gut aus. Was mir nicht gefallen hat, wenn man wirklich in die Ferne guckt, dann sieht es schon sehr, sehr, sehr übel aus. Also äh, macht dann keinen kein Spaß mehr. Und äh, ja, aber ist halt Quest, äh, da müssen die Entwickler halt ein bisschen, ja, sehr, sehr erfinderisch sein, um äh, ja, Ressourcen zu sparen, um die sinnvoll einzusetzen. Und da ist natürlich auch die weitere Umgebung damit gemeint. Und äh, sowas wird dann halt sehr schlecht aufgelöst dargestellt und ja, anders geht es halt auch nicht. Ne? Okay, Leute, schauen wir uns mal ganz kurz die Seiten an. Also es kommt in, äh, für die Quest raus und äh, auf Steam VR auch, aber wir gucken jetzt erstmal hier auf die äh, Quest-Seite und äh, ja, Quest 1 wird unterstützt, Quest 2 wird unterstützt und ähm, ja, hier steht jetzt nicht, nichts von Rift, also auch kein Crossplay also, sonst stellen es ja hier auch und äh, es soll wohl 30 Dollar kosten. Ich weiß nicht, ob es jetzt wirklich umgemünzt wird in Euro. Müssen wir noch abwarten. Und hier haben wir die Steam-Version. Und hier wird die Valve Index und die HTC Vive unterstützt. Und äh, ja, wie wir hier sehen, leider keine Unterstützung. Ist echt schade. Aber äh, vielleicht wird das was. Also das Spiel war ja damals sehr, sehr, sehr ähm, beliebt. Und äh, vielleicht verkauft sich ja auch ganz gut. Und ähm, wir bekommen eine deutsche Übersetzung. Spanische, Französisch und was da sonst noch so kommt. Ja, das erstmal dazu und ich würde sagen, ähm, ja, hackeln wir jetzt nicht so lange rum, sondern äh, ja, schauen wir uns mal das Game gemeinsam an und ich wünsche euch viel Spaß dabei. So Leute, hier sind wir schon im Menü von Sam Max und ja, einmal können wir hier auswählen das Movement, also ob wir im Stehen oder im Sitzen spielen. Dann Teleport oder Analog. Ich möchte mich analog fortbewegen. Dann können wir uns unsere Hand auswählen. Machen wir einfach Guy. Und... Nee, machen wir schon Hautfarben, ne? So. 
Subtitles on ist besser, weil ja, wenn man nicht wirklich äh, gut Englisch spricht, ist es besser, wenn man das nochmal liest. Und äh, ja, dann würde ich sagen, los geht's. Sam and Max, this time is virtual. Oder it's virtual. Hey! Das ist doch mal ein geiles Menü hier, oder? Oder Startbildschirm. <lacht> Los geht's. Na. Ah, okay. Come on, Max. You sure you saw someone under here? Sure as I'm oh. standing here risking a herniated disc. Now he! Yeah. Hey, you in there! Am I giving us a hand saving your keister? Just put your arms up and laugh! It's a live thing! Ooh, now we're talking. On three. One, two, two three! Uh, Na come. I told you someone was under there. Hey! Yeah, yeah, with the under. Can we get back to the giant monster now? Hey, you okay, buddy? Looks like you took a pretty good bash to the bonds. I'm sorry, bash to the bolts. Have you been watching British television again? I can't help it. The season's so depressed. It's like a non-stop thrill ride. Uh-oh, we've got incoming. Hey, Lumpy, you might want to take a couple steps to the right and or left. <laughs> Yo, Lumpy. Get over here before you get yourself killed. That's not a very nice thing to say to someone who's suffering from a dumpster and juice Max. Sorry, Lumpy. Max, welcome to the party, kid. Now get down. And thanks for bringing down our unintended casualty count. I'm Sam. He's Max. We're the freelance police. You might recognize us from our breakfast cereals and underground comics. That 50-foot bundle of fun popped up a few minutes ago and started trashing our neighborhood. You should see what it did to our portico. You're adorable when you misuse architectural terms. Anyway, we think we've got a plan to stop this terrifying enigma. But we need someone with five fingers to operate this. Uh, where yes. Are you that, Max? That's classified, that is Sam. Also horrifying. That's the spirit. Okay, kid. Here's what we need you to do. When I yell go, we're gonna try to distract Mr. Grumpy Heads. All you have to do is load these rockets into this state-of-the-art rocket launcher. Which we totally didn't steal from a military trade show swag bag. Wait until we've distracted it. Point this in the general vicinity of one of the heads, and... Boom! Great oh. big gobs of greasy, grimy monster guts! Do we have a copyright on that? Ready? And go! Hmm. Das klappt doch gut. Also die lenken ab und ich schieße. Da, ist da hin. It appears that this menace Na, from beyond is capable of temporarily learning from its mistakes. Let me try to distract it this time. Hey, monster, look over here while I read you your rights. You have the right to get blown up. If you don't want to get blown up now, that's too bad because you're going to get blown up. Nice shot, kid. Okay, good. Let's go to the Wow. Rats. Now the critter won't pay any attention to me. Just like Debbie at the health club. Maybe we should try to distract him together with the gift of music. Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Da waren es nur noch zwei. The music stopped working. Yes. A pity. Hey, what happened to all those fireworks that didn't get to shoot off Boom. last year? Good idea, Sam. Komm, wir müssen ablenken. Jawohl, komm. One left. Nothing can stop us now. Stop jinxing us, Max. Nachladen, komm, komm, komm. Just keep shooting. I thought you never asked. Oh. 
Jetzt habe ich zu früh. Yeah. Ja! <lacht> Komm her, wir laden nochmal nach hier. Okay, Oh, please, Sam, don't. So what do you say, kid? Do you have what it takes to become one of the few, the odd, the marginally compensated? I'm begging you. Do you want to join the freelance police? Ah. Oh, yes. Ich bin dabei. Man muss natürlich sagen, ist sehr, sehr, sehr viel Text und äh, ich habe auch meine Probleme hier mitzukommen, auch gleichzeitig mitzulesen. Und da wäre es echt cool, wenn es eine deutsche Übersetzung gibt. Und äh, ja, weil man verpasst hier sonst super viel Witz, weil das Spiel hat halt ja sehr, sehr viel Humor und äh, ja. Pink, were you raised in a sewer? Wäre halt schade, wenn man das alles verpasst, ne? Knock, knock. We're busy! No one knock. Come on in. Ja, no one knock. Hello! Whoa! Oh, Welcome, kid. Mm -mm -mm. Did you fill out that <laughs> form we gave you? It's right here, Sam. Here, Lumpy, hold this for me. We haven't been formally introduced, but I'm Sam, and this is my huggable partner, Max. Please don't hug me. We're the freelance police, selfless wranglers of scurvy gutter <laughs> trash, supernatural botherers, and vermin of all stripes. I'm less a vermin and more of a lagamore. Crime never sleeps around here, so we need quality cadets like you with limited career options and leaders of type O blood. That's good. Looks like you've already filled out an application form. Great. I'll just enter all your data into old Vicky here. In the meantime, Max will give you a basic aptitude test to make sure you can walk and chew gum at the same time. Rise and shine, Luffy. You're about to take a one-way ticket to H-E double hockey sticks with yours truly as a tour guide. I'm gonna turn your flabby, useless body into There's a ecstasy or a coke. freelance police and machine. Do you understand me? Just show him the checklist, Sergeant Rockhead. <laughs> Over there is a checklist of basic tasks. If you complete them without accidentally bursting your appendix, I may allow you to continue your training. Okay, we have a checklist that we have to fill. Müssen. Gucken wir gleich. Schauen wir mal ganz kurz hier was. Kann ich auch? Nein. We need to know if you can hit the broad side of a barn with your throat. Now do me! Now do me! Na komm. Me like that anymore, Sam. So, come. Ham and HR said I had to cut it out. Oh, it's nothing ah. secret anymore. Make Sam coffee. Okay, we need a tasse, ne? Tasse? That's my price go. Joe mug. I take mine with a shot of cream and two scoops of sugar. And just a hint of danger. So, und zwei Sugar, hat er gesagt. Mal schauen. Don't forget, one shot of cream and two scoops of sugar. Ja. Hier, Sam. Lass es dir schmecken. Und? Gut? Ah, that's the stuff. Ja. Ah, sorry I was a little rough on you earlier. Make I'm a Max complete animal lungs. until I get my morning Joe. Okay. And afterwards, he's just some sort of grumpy... Are you sure we want Lumpy corn using dog. the microwave? Hey, good for you. You found my breakfast corn dogs. Just so you know, I like my corn dogs like I like my, uh... Ah. Okay. Max isn't good with similes. Corn dogs, 20 seconds. Und? Mm, the sweet oily smell of irradiated meat-like products. <laughs> Gimme. 
Eine größere Mikrowelle habt ihr nicht, oder? Ja, Max. Und gut. Hm, crunchy, chewy, just a hint of pig lips. Not bad, Lumpy. But da I still don't like you. Punch Clown. Wo ist er? Wo ist er? Wo ist er? Da ist er. So, einmal umdrehen. This Mr. Jingles is just all right, kid. I think Mr. Jingles has had enough of one day. So, Roach Buster. Max keeps telling me to throw out the record player, but I love the sound of vinyl. But I hate being Nein. called a hipster. Roach Buster. Keine Ahnung, was das, was damit gemeint ist. I am Dozetatron. I love the acoustics on those things. They're great for listening in on conversations. While you're poking around the lacy unmentionables in our closet, ah. would you mind taking out some of those cockroaches with my six gun? I'll be shooting up the office, Sam. Just stick to the cockroaches and leave the redecorated job, kid. Now put my gun back before you're overwhelmed with cockroach bloodlust. Can now roach my... Do cockroaches even have blood, Sam? Hey, Sam, Bumpy's all done with the aptitude test. Come the kid. Oh, the kid. Nein. Between brain dead and unformed pile of clay. Just how we like them. I got some more typing to do here, but that can wait. Anytime you're ready to head on over to our training grounds, just give me a holler. Okay, that's not fine. Hmm. Are you ready to start your training? All righty then. It's time to gird your wits and steal your loins for the challenges of the freelance police training grounds. Here's helping you like pain. Here we are at the Freelance Police Academy of Remedial Crime Busting and Planetary Protection. Sorry about the bumpy drive, but there's two pounds hey. of lead embedded in also my right foot. Gut As you aus, can see, also the Academy has been built on the remains of Cap Maqua Bear's fun time. Aber ansonsten, was man hier so seaside amusement park closed down ist, ist in 2005 okay. under mysterious circumstances. By mysterious, he means it went broke. And by color, he means immer, psychologically ist scarring gut, and full of asbestos. In order to complete your training, You'll need to receive a passing grade in 10 sanity-defying challenges. Actually, it's nine, Sam. The Supreme Court just ruled that the 10th one was, quote, cruel, unusual, and lacking pizzazz. Okay, fine. Nine challenges. Once you pass the first three, we'll let you try the next three, and so on. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. We'll be tracking your progress with these special bracelets we confiscated from one of the many mad scientists we've jailed over the years. Just stick out either hand, and Max will slap it on. Aha. Ich kriege ein Armband. Slap. Okay, kid. Slap. Good to go. Whenever you're ready, yeah, slap, just yeah. saunter over to the challenge of your choice, and we'll tell you what to do and where to shoot. So, listen here. Welcome to Sam and Max's on, Voyage man. Okay, before you begin. Are you ready for deep muscular torment? Jeez, Max. I really am ready. Each station on this course is designed to test your glutes, abs, pecs, traps, and zeds. We'll tell you what you need to do as you go. Ready? Set, go, run! First up, simply step on this track and avoid these pummeling round things. It's so easy, even a banana slug can do it. Also, ich kann mich jetzt nicht mehr mit dem Thumbstick bewegen. Ich muss mich ja so bewegen. Okay. Next das kann ich wieder normal bewegen. Okay. Watch out! We didn't have time to properly attach all the handholds. At moments like this, I wonder whatever happened to Yahoo A freelance police officer needs to have a keen sense of throwing accuracy because, uh, you know, that comes up from time to time. Come. Just a little outside. Be the ball. You sure you don't need some therapeutic eyewear? Maybe a bowl of soup? Nice arm, Mini Rivera. Sure. Please, Rivera. Nice throw. I think we made the 
this too easy, Sam. Oh, come. See, that was a nice ball holding, kid. Now let's just get this out of the way. Nice ball holding, kid. Now let's just get this out of the way. Okay, my dog is. Climb this ladder. Ignore the mud stains. Grab it, don't let go. <laughs> so be cool. Fällt mir. Don't just hang there like a Mona Lisa. Let go. Okay. Oh. Now pop some balloons. And your preconceptions about law enforcement. Stop. Oh, come. Hi, John. This is so much cooler with ninja throwing stuff. Right? Am I right? I'm right. Yeah, you say that about everything. Also. Not looking good there, Luffy. <laughs> oh, that wheel is making me, making me herpy. Try staring at a fixed object. Like the sun. Kann doch wohl nicht sein. If you're getting dizzy, try putting your head between your legs. Come, come, come. We're 90% positive they don't feel any pain when you... Yeah, yeah, big deal. Mann, das war aber schwer, du. <laughs> da ist ein Schatz. Okay. Kein Schatz. Now grab the hook and hold on to it like it's your lost innocence. Yet. Boah, da war knapp, sonst wäre ich ins Wasser gefallen. Basketball? Oh, in the hoop. You could build a charming Brooklyn townhouse with all those bricks. Whenever I play basketball, my feet hurt for a week. Maybe you should wear shoes. Airball. The thing I like best about basketball is wearing those baggy shorts. I like the headbands and fragile ankles. Switch. Oh, come. Come. Where'd we get all these bombs anyway? Turns out that old man McCready is uncomfortably adept with oh. explosive devices. We probably should have done a background check. Ich komme auch nicht nah ran. Also Okay. okay Nehme ich einfach mal so hin. You're almost done. Oh ja. Now use those yes. Kleine Minigames. Well, pull my ears and call me Missy. You passed. Missy is easily impressed. Dann schauen wir uns das mal an. Klar, wir brauchen mal relativ schnell. The brains of three of our nation's greatest entrepreneurs have been replaced by fiendishly clever time bombs. I hate when that happens. We'll help you defuse them with some online manuals we've dug up on the dark web. Your examination begins now. The first thing you need to do is open up the head of Thomas Edison here like a right... Hello. Ah. White. It's a fail-safe system, Max. The heads have tells to choose the correct action, but the rest are lies that'll make it go kaboomskis. But which one is the right one? Well, according to the manual, when his eyes are blue, he's being true. When he says poke me, poke him in the eyes! No, 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 no. <laughs> when he says boop me, tap him on the nose. Okay, boop. 
Hulk. Boot me. Hulk me. Boot me. Hulk me. Twist me. That looks like a flathead. Pick up the flathead screwdriver to take it off and open it up. Yellow. are the sign of the truth. Funny, with me they're a sign of bloodlust. Poke me. Oh. Poke me. Twist me. Oh. Poke me. Red eyes are the sign of the truth. Funny, with me they're a sign of bloodlust. Poke. Poke me. Huh? Oh, was ist denn Twist Me? Red eyes are the sign of the truth. Funny, with me they're a sign of bloodlust. Okay. Turn me. it. Twist me. Ich weiß nicht, was die meinen. Me. Twist me. Red eyes are the sign of the tree. Funny, with me they're a sign of bloodlust. Poke me. Nein, blau ist falsch. Looks like wires. Grab the wire cutters. Oh, das ist schwer. <lacht> when he's telling the truth. Twist me. Boot me. Plunge me. Poke me. Twist me. Plunge me. Nein, nein. Poke me. Yank me. Ah! Oh, das ist nichts für mich. He looks to the right when he's telling the truth. That looks like a Phillips head. Get the Phillips screwdriver to take it off and open the head. White. Blue. Green. Black. White. 
Ух ты. His eyes will be green when he's telling the truth. Twist me. Boot me. Poke me. Boot me. Poke me. Squeeze me. Poke me. Yank me. Mm -mm. Boot me. Poke me. Mm -mm. <laughs> Impressive time, kid. Yeah, but Man, it's it it hanging upside down in a piranha tank. Eh? So I'm getting my Nicely done, done, cadet. You've officially passed the bombs away challenge. Big yeah. deal. You can train a chimp to disarm a bomb, 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 bomb. Hey, Sam, we should train a chimp to disarm a bomb. See, yeah. no. Da war ich jetzt nicht so wirklich gut, ne? Okay, das haben wir, das haben wir. Oh. Wir haben das nicht. Ja, aber das ist nicht so, dass du immer wieder wachst. Was kann ich sagen? Ich liebe zu wachsen. Ich liebe zu wachsen. Okay, man muss irgendwie an dieser Pistole wahrscheinlich klein gemacht werden, um da reinzukommen, ne? Sky Patrol, das machen wir jetzt. I see, I see you're admiring the statue of Dr. Duncan Dills, creator of the Aqua Bears and Dr. Dills Soda. And if you're okay, not, you nicht, should be. We never met Dr. Dills in person, but we admired his can-do oh, spirit from afar. Mostly because, because of the restraining order. Circle of Carnage. Welcome to the Circle of Carnage. Carnage! 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 We fudged together the park <laughs> shooting galleries to test your firearm skills while being overstimulated by a hideous panopticon of garishness. I saw panopticon of garishness at the Crown Plaza back in 98. Your weapons are on the table in front of you. Try not to shoot any civilians. Or us. We're gonna go someplace safe. First up, it's the Old West shoot 'em up. Uh, why are the bank robbers kangaroos, Sam? Because this was built in Australia, where 95% of the fauna would just as soon kill you as look at you. Good on you. If you keep shooting like that, the hall will be overrun by wallabies. Take that, you no good Vegemite eating product. Reload, true. Shove that in your tucker bag. That'll put a shrimp on his Barbie. Zombies, mummies, and other monstrous and therefore socially acceptable targets. I hate it when the dead don't stay on their side of the veil. Maybe we should use the classic slow zombies for this bit. Come on, kid. It's not that scary. Remind me to leave you behind during the next zombie apocalypse. Hey, back, you played out cultural phenomenon! These guys are already mostly dead. Just give them a little push. Reload! You clear out those dead eyes with your boomstick, kid. Reload! Careful. Don't hit the civilians. Losers. Oh, the 
Was kommt jetzt? I'm surprised you remember it. I remember most of the places I got killed. Look out. Some of those parts shoot back. Schönes Trainingsgelände. Das ist hier, du. Na komm! Was ist denn los? shooting Tex. You that officially was earned your circle stressig. of carnage badge. But we're still not giving you a gun until you've passed the rest of our tests. Because that would be irresponsible. Yeah, irresponsible. You hear that? That bell means that you've passed the first three freelance police academy challenges and are ready to move on to the next round. Join us over by ye old strengthometer and we'll get... That must be the hotline. <laughs> Wenn ich mich bewegen könnte, will ich fangen den aber. Commissioner, how's the family? Still in hiding? Swell. Really? Upside down, you say? <laughs> no. Well, gotta go. I love you too, sir. That was the commissioner, or his alternate universe doppelganger.
with a dire warning. Never eat expired pork? No, one of our enemies has escaped from prison and is threatening to unleash mayhem in our neighborhood. Why can't people keep their mayhem properly leashed? That's not really the point. We've got to get over there pronto. Come on, cadet. It's time for a field trip. Of danger! <laughs> the city's underpaid sanitation workers are great. You'd hardly know there was a 50-foot-tall planarian worm wreaking havoc here just a few hours ago. Okay, kid. According to the commissioner's insistent blubbering, Theodore Tox, one of the city's notorious criminals, has escaped from prison and has sworn to exact vengeance upon us. That seems to happen a lot, Sam. Here's some wanted posters with all of Tox's inappropriately intimate details. You can tack it around your waist. Let's go talk to some of the locals and see if they've seen him flying around. Okay, wir sollen hier den Kerl suchen. Theodore Teddy Talks. Hey, na, Prinzessin? <lacht> Guck mal die Nase. Talk. Ho! Who dares disturb Queen Carpathia, Southern of the Seven Burrows and the Outer Kingdoms? Many apologies, Your Majesty. This is our new recruit. Pow, Junior. Forgive our new cadet, Your Majesty, as they are clearly unused to courtly etiquette. Samuel, favored friend of the Rat Kingdom. What news do you bring of the human world? All the usual, crime and dim wittery. Junior, show Queen Carpathia the knave. Have you perchance espied this rogue on your morning tour of the realm? We have indeed. The scoundrel nearly ran us over on his accursed conveyance. Mayhaps didst thou ascertainest his... thou... whence... Did you see where he went? We are afraid not. By the time we came to our senses, the jackanape had fled the scene. He did leave this curious artifact, however. That looks like some sort of Wi-Fi thingy that connects two pieces of high-tech... Come on, Mitt. Okay. This is a weekly test of the Killer Robot Alert System. There are no killer robots in your vicinity. This is only a Hi. test. Sam! Max! Sasha, how's the art scene? Starving, same as always. I'm doing a big installation piece later today, so that'll be cool. As the actress said to the bishop. Junior, she this is Sasha, off. our local street artist slash vandal. Wow, you got a whole Salvador Dali thing going on with your face, don't you? We try not to stare. Show Sasha the wanted poster, kid. You happen to see this technopunk loitering, lurking, or uh, maybe oh, looming? Yeah. yeah, I saw him a couple hours ago. He was riding one of those lame hoverboards and cackling like a maniac. He dropped this, though. Thought about incorporating it into a found art sculpture. It was too ugly. Thanks. Okay. No problemo. Hey, when are you gonna come in and pose, big guy? Just as soon as I lose 30 pounds. And my debilitating fear of being seen naked. I think those are two sides of the same flabby coin, Sam. I like where you're going with this, cadet. Okay. It's a good thing the neutral hole showed up. After Bosco's closed, our neighborhood was turning into one of those food deserts. I don't know, Sam. Something about that place gives me the gym jams. The music, so richtige Fahrstuhlmusik. Ah, guck mal hier. Hello, sir. Junior, this is Helios Papadopoulos owner of the best Greek-Canadian fusion food truck this side of the Mississippi. And he's totally not a fugitive Greek god or anything. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even know why I brought that up. Salmon Max! I'm all at the doctor deal soda, but I'm getting a shipment later today. Can I interest you in a hero? We don't need another euro, Mr. P. I'm just looking for a guy. Hey, who is it? Show him the poster, Lumpy. Oh, that guy. He ordered a jumbo poutine platter, then tried to pay for it with some sort of cryptocurrency nonsense. And then? I told him to take a long walk into Hades. He had a hissy fit, threw down his stupid goggles, and stormed off on his silly scooter. Well, thanks, Mr. P. 
Nice going, cadet. Now see if you can find talks on that AR doohickey. I was unhappy that Bosco's was closing down, but then I... So, in conclusion, we need to... Hey, stop it! Please don't touch the equipment! It's very delicate! Huh? Who's there? Where'd my test subject go? Hey, Sam, check it out! He's just hovering there in the alley like a chump. Sam and Max! What are you doing at my presentation? We live here, dummy. Well, I'm afraid you aren't credentialed for today's seminar. A namaste. You and the new kid follow him up the side of the building. I'll take the stairs. Come on, Luffy! Come on, let him on the hook. The newbie and the pet weasel clearly accustomed to the commonplace challenges of the past. Let's shake up their ascent with a disruptive paradigm. Hey, I'm not a weasel. I'm a like. Get him, Luffy! I believe in you! Yeah, kinda. Today, I'd like you to imagine oh. a world in which the antiquated freelance police have been replaced by swarms of efficient militarized drones. Oh, take my gun. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Wahnsinn, wie gut ich schießen kann. <laughs> Come on, yeah, do. Do smoke. Sure, we might miss their zany trips and violent tomfoolery, but sometimes you have to crack a few paradigms to elevate to a higher consciousness. I'll circle around to the other side. You climb that ancient and terribly convenient antenna. Okay. Can she? Let me the pistol. Die Tauben sehen geil aus. Hey, there you are. I was worried you had tragically fallen to your death. Come here. Did I miss anything? Not so fast, agents of the status quo. Oh, I like that one. One more step, and I'll detonate my neutron disruptor wave, which will disrupt everyone's neutrons within a five-mile radius. Uh, is that bad? I don't know. I really should have paid more attention at home at class. Also, disruptor hat sich jetzt nicht cool so down, buddy. <laughs> no need for anyone to get their neutrons rustled today. Just tell me what you want. What do I want? What do I want? Uh, that's kind of what I ask, yeah. I want you to listen to the rest of my presentation. I'm not sure we got time to... Neutrons! All right, fine. Let me just pull up my deck here. Uh, no bars. What do you mean, no bars? Could you just wing it? No, I can't just wing it. There are slides, charts, sound effects. Ugh. Take it easy, buddy. I'm not your buddy. I'm your future. And the future is now. Ah, oh, dang. Hey, Luffy, your glove is glowing. Maybe you can wave it around and do something useful. What the? What's that? Get his arm, Max. Got it. Careful. He's squirming like a greased up pig on barbecue night. Nice to come. Now you're making me hungry. You fool. You oh, only delete the irritable. Once my timer goes down, your neutrons will be disrupted, but good. It looks like one of those bombs from your training class. 
Max, you help him defuse it. I'll sit on talks. Ah, you always get the fun parts. Can't tell a lie when he's looking up. <laughs> Your neutrons are toast. Well, that's disappointing. My neutrons are ready. Nice move, Fluffy. Of me. <laughs> Your neutrons are totally That's all a failure, or? That's disappointing. Guck mal. You can't tell a lie when he's looking up. Of me. Twist me. Of me. Twist me. Of me. His eyes will be green when he's telling the truth. Yank me. Poke me. Poke me. Poke me. Yank me. Poke me. Nur grün. Twist me. <laughs> Your neutrons are toast. Well, that's disappointing. Grün. Twist me. His eyes go to the right. He's telling the truth. Poke me. Twist me. Poke me. Poke me. Poke me. Squeeze me. He looks to his left when he's telling the truth. Yank me. Smack me. <laughs> Your neutrons are toast. Well, that's disappointing. Yank me. What's that cops? My neutrons are ready. Nice move, Fluffy. <laughs> Nein. Nochmal, komm. komm. Jetzt aber. He looks to his left when he's telling the truth. Yank me. Smack me. Poke me. Yank me. Twist me. Poke me. Poke me. Squeeze me. Smack me. Poke me. Twist me. Ein Twisten ist blöd. Bomb diffused. Neutrons neutralized. No! My precious neutrons! Ja, dein Müll. Okay, mister. Let's get you back to your prison cell before you threaten any more fundamental particles. <lacht> Let me take that off your hands, Lumpy. Was will er von mir? Was will er von mir? Irgendwas war, hat er gesagt mit Hands. Naja, egal. Ja, Leute, das reicht jetzt für den Ersteindruck, würde ich sagen. Und äh, ich muss sagen, ja, ein Game mit sehr, sehr, sehr viel Witz. Und ähm, ja, netter Comic-Grafik, muss ich sagen. Alles, was in der Ferne liegt, sieht, wie man hier so schön sehen kann, einfach schlecht aus. Und äh, ja, die ersten zwei Häuserblöcke sind dann wieder in Ordnung. Danach wird es dann wieder fies. 
Aber gut, mehr gibt die Quest halt nicht her. Ich würde mir hier deutsche Untertitel wünschen, weil ich echt auch Probleme habe, so schnell hinterher zu kommen. Und äh, ja, die quasseln ja nur quasseln, quasseln, quasseln und man kriegt nur Bruchstücke mit, wenn man Englisch nicht so gut beherrscht. Und äh, ja, das ist natürlich schade. Ich hoffe, hier wird noch nachgebessert und es kommen deutsche Untertitel und natürlich auch gerne andere Sprachen. Nett gemachtes Game. Was denkt ihr darüber? Gerne mal in die Kommentare schreiben. Und äh, ja, wenn euch das Video gefallen hat, gerne Like raus, Abo-Button nicht vergessen. Und ich sag mal, danke fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.